Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is a little mini, mini boss. <laughs> Not really a boss at all, to be honest. Um, anyway, so we're upstairs in Castle Lothric. Uh, first things first. Screw this guy for throwing Lloyd's talismans at you. Anyway, um, this is entirely unnecessary. But, as you can see, the uh, the dragon who like burst, blows flame all over the bridges, is, you can target him. So I thought, oh, I'll try a zap at him. It only works if you hit his head if you're using a uh, great soul arrow. And notice you're completely safe here, yeah? And I thought, well, what happens if you use a uh, soul spear? Because that's generally got a bit more range. Um, and, uh, see, this is not really doing any damage, so it's kind of difficult to time. Have to wait for him to stop. There you go. He's using quite a lot of health, so I'm thinking this could take ages. Be like the blue dragon in uh, Demon Souls. So I thought, what about. Oh. Oh. Well, that one hits him in his body as well, so it doesn't really matter where it hits him. And if it hits him in the head or if it hits him in the body, it does the same damage, which is about 600 or something. And uh, that soon, like. That soon takes care of him, as you'll see. It's not really very sporting, this is it? It's like, it's like shooting animals for fun. Not really a very noble pursuit. And the interesting thing is, there's actually another way to kill this guy, obviously. Um, it's, it's, it's actually fairly easy. But anyway, he goes down. he's dead, which means you can now go out and pick up all the shinies that are uh, scattered around this arena. Uh, there's another dragon here. Um, he's he's already dead. There you see. And you hear that kind of like sort of gurgly noise. Well that means that there's actually the dragon's not actually completely dead. And as you can see the dragon is, in st is still here. So, uh, 